Hello and welcome back to English Idea. This is Rim Alam and this video is not only a special video but also a very different type of practice test video. Yes, this is just a Duolingo practice test but this practice test is similar to the real test. And this video is special because this is my 50th video. So thank you everyone for supporting me. I hope my videos are helpful and in informative for everyone. I got emails from um, Sai Shashank and many others telling me how they got their desired score because of my videos. And trust me when I say when I read such emails, those are my greatest moments. I feel as if I got everything. Thanks everyone once again. Keep supporting me like the way you all did since the beginning and I would like to mention a very special person for whom you all are able to see this English idea by Rim Adam and it's my husband Mr. Sharif I can't thank you enough those emails small and big achievements all are because of you Mr. Sharif I don't want to get emotional in the video so moving on I request everyone to watch till the end of this video because like I said previously this is not an ordinary practice test this practice is similar to the real exam so watch this video with full concentration to see the questions and how I answer them and to get tips and tricks but before I proceed, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever I upload something new. Now without further ado, let's start learning, shall we? This is a full length practice test, which means ha giving a practice test which lasts about only 15 to 30 minutes. You will give a practice test which looks and takes about the same time as the real test you can also find this option in the practice test like you saw that they asked me if I want to participate so they'll give you an opportunity whether you want to participate or no if you wish to continue you can click on um, on a box and if you do not then you can just you know continue to have a normal practice test um, I will recommend everyone to at least go through this one hour um, full length practice test at least once because you will get a better view of the real test um, as the video progresses you can see the different type of questions that I, I have come across this time um, you will see uh, how I have answered different kind of questions so please remember to watch the entire video with full concentration you should watch the video till the end because there are many different and new questions that has appeared in this practice test which has never and I repeat never appeared in the normal practice test What color are those? What color are those? What color are those?
ingrown, ingrown, tiresome, tiresome. Spur, spur. Persist, persist. Ingrown, persist. Invariably, invariably. Indulsely, indulsely. Indicator, indicator. And read, and read. Shrug, shrug. Shrug, shrug. Invariably, invariably. Tiresome, tiresome. Ingrown, ingrown. Persist, persist. Indicator. Indicator, and read, and read. Indulsely, indulsely. Spur, spur. In the 15-minute uh, practice test, you will get only one picture to describe. As the video progresses, you can see this time in this practice test, I have got not one but three images to describe. Watch the entire video with full concentration to learn more. This was picture number one and this is picture number two. Even in the real test, you will get three images back to back. So you will have the first image and then second and the third image immediately. And towards the end of the test, you will have one more picture to describe. But you have to describe that through speaking. I have discussed more about image description in my three other videos the link to the playlist will be given in the description below don't forget to check it out And this is the third but not the last image which you need to describe. You'll have another image you need to describe that which is towards the end of the test. But you need to describe that through speaking. Rotating molecules hit other molecules and put them into motion, thus dispersing energy. He gathered the last three matchsticks left on the floor. He gathered the last three matchsticks left on the floor. 
he gathered the last three matchsticks left on the floor. He is contemplating the complexity of contemporary life. The equation of time is obtained from a published table or a graph. The equation of time is obtained from a published table or a graph. The equation of time is obtained from a published table or a graph. So in the basic practice test, you come across uh, read and speak. You come across uh, listen and write type of questions, right? That I have just done before uh, doing this filling the blanks, right? So in the basic practice test, you actually get very easy sentences to um, listen and write or to you know s read and speak. Unfortunately, in the real test, you don't get easy sentences. You actually get quite hard sentences. Many of my students have told that sometimes they are not able to finish the sentences due to uh, time or maybe they didn't understand. They could not hear it again. So please practice very well. These two type of questions, you know, where you uh, read and speak and uh, you listen and write. These two type of questions are often underestimated many things that it's very easy but please please practice them just like how you practice your writing and speaking section practice as much as you can Having two or three manuals makes it possible to have a quick changes of sound during a piece. Accuracial, accuracial, bilingual, Biling bilingual, bilingual, bilingual. Impated, impated, inferior, Inf inferior, inferior. Dunches, dunches. Consoli, consoli. Internuous, internuous. Precaution, precaution. Eligible. Eligible. Bilingual. Inferior. Eligible. Accuracial. Accuracial. Impated. Impated. Dunches. Dunches. Consoli. Consoli. Internuous. Internuous. Precaution. 
Precaution. Precaution. Bilingual. Bilingual. Inferior. Inferior. Precaution. Precaution. Eligible. Eligible. Impated. Impated. Consoli. Consoli. Dunches. Dunches. Accuracial. Accuracial. Internuous. Internuous. As long as that was done, you can send for it at any time. In general, these substances are known as artificial sweeteners or sugar substitutes. In general, these substances are known as artificial sweeteners or sugar substitutes. In general, these substances are known as artificial sweeteners or sugar substitutes. Tendification, tendification. Riticity, riticity. Unevist. Tendification. Hygless. Hygless. Explicit. Explicit. Glust. Glust. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Referendum. Referendum. Syllabus. Syllabus. Referendum. Referendum. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Hygless. Hygless. Tendification. Tendification. Riticity. 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 Unevist. Unevist. Riticity. 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 Explicit. Explicit. Glust. Glust. Syllabus. Syllabus.
It's been almost three months since I have moved here. Indian migration has spread the culinary traditions of the subcontinent throughout the world. Indian migration has spread the culinary traditions of the subcontinent throughout the world. Indian migration has spread the culinary traditions of the subcontinent throughout the world. Many of these employees belong to trade unions, who says how much their members must be paid. Evartive, evartive, subparate, subparate, melody, melody. Respirity, respirity. Imperious, imperious. Respensed. Respensed. Poetic. Poetic. Grisminute. Grisminute. Glare. Glare. Respensed. Respensed. Grisminute. Grisminute. Imperious. Imperious. Subparate. Subparate. Evartive. Evartive. Respirity. Respirity. Melody. Melody. Glare. Glare. Poetic. Poetic. The original is considered a British icon of the 1960s. The original is considered a British icon of the 1960s. The original is considered a British icon of the 1960s.
unlike the practice test, in this test you will have two interactive readings.
Many people believe companies should not be allowed to advertise products to children. Do you agree or disagree? Many people believe companies should not be allowed to advertise products to children. Do you agree or disagree? Many people believe companies should not be allowed to advertise products to children. Um, I strongly uh, agree that uh, companies should be um, advertising to children because um, I don't think so. All advertisements uh, are a negative or you know uh, have negative impacts on the children or it's any kind of negative products i think some are great products some are very useful for the kids and um, if it's not being advertised there is no way a child or uh, the parents will know about this so uh, certainly i completely agree that companies should be advertising their products to kids um, they the kids should also know about it in my previous videos i have mentioned that you will get a question where you have to listen and speak and in this question, you have to describe the image through speaking. This is a picture of a young person staring at the big clock. Uh, the picture is being taken from the back. So uh, it's actually not possible to say whether it's a man or a woman. But regardless, it's a young adult uh, who is looking at a big clock. I think this person is in the clock tower in the big where uh, there are big clock towers, uh, clocks. Uh, I think this person works for the clock tower and he's in there. Uh, the person is in inside the clock tower to um, see whether it's working properly and um, whatsoever. Today I'm going to talk about uh, some luxury goods. Uh, that's um, in my culture and uh, some of them uh, the luxuries which are highly desired in my country they are cars actually um, many people uh, you know when they see somebody having a car they assume that this person must be very rich um, must be doing very well in his life and it is indeed true because uh, buying a car in my country is very expensive and due to that it's a very it's a luxury to, to you know to buy a car so it's many many middle class uh, family or men um, really wants uh, you know to have this luxury uh, however only the rich ones of my country can uh, enjoy these luxuries a part of that uh, the middle class or the poor people unfortunately they cannot enjoy this luxury and uh, if i was rich i would uh, i would buy a flat a house not a flat not apartment actually but a, a very uh, nice uh, luxury house um, I think that's that's a luxury for me because I'm still not able to uh, afford it uh, so that's a very a, a luxurious thing for me and I if I if I'm able to afford it the day I'll be rich that's the first thing I'll buy I'll buy a house a big uh, a big nice house talk about a friend who you think is a good leader who is it how did you meet and what makes them so great Talk about a friend who you think is a good leader. Who is it? How did you meet? And what makes them so great? Talk about a friend who you think is a good leader. Who is it? Today I'm going to talk about a friend who is not only a good person but also a very good leader. And uh, that person is um, one of my uh, friend in university. Her name is Hema and uh, she I, I actually met her during an event that uh, my university was uh, having and we just had uh, a lunch together she was my friend's friend so we were not even friends at that time uh, she, she just came with my friend and uh, you know I decided to join with them to have lunch and as we were having lunch she was um, she was talking a lot and I am a very introverted person, so I was kind of like, why is this person talking a lot? And re later on, I found out that this person, Hema, my friend, uh, now that she's my friend, Hema, she was uh, the captain of, uh, she was the president of one of the clubs. And uh, I, I remember after being, uh, like, after having the lunch, another uh, friend of mine was telling how Hema, you know, led uh, this entire club 
to a very good position from what it was last year you know not only from one person but from many other people i heard about her leadership and um, i think uh, you know because of her uh, talkative nature that's what makes her a very good leader she knows how to motivate one person she knows how to you know talk uh, how to present herself so in this practice test you got two listen and speak question and one read and speak question and one image to describe through speaking this is what you will get uh, even in the real test In the basic practice test, you will have um, only two speaking practice and two writing practice. But in this test, as you can see, you had uh, three speaking questions already and now you have another interview. So I will suggest everyone to practice uh, this one hour test instead of practice, practicing the 15 minute test because like I said previously, this test, this one hour practice test is much more better than the basic practice test so whenever you get asked by duolingo if you want to give a 60 minute practice test please go for it instead of missing the chance
today i'm going to talk about uh, the different types of crafts such as woodworking knitting embroidery and uh, pottery and uh, i would be interesting uh, i would be interested to do knitting and it is because uh, i saw my grandmother um, knitting you know since the time i i um, understood and uh, unfortunately she couldn't pass this legacy to my mom or my aunties because they were busy with their studies and um, other other things so she 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 couldn't teach my mom um, and she often talks about how knitting is uh, how knitting is her therapy you know how she finds peace in it and you know she she often even um, talks about how sad she feels when she realizes that uh, once she's gone nobody will be able to hold on to her legacy so that is why i um, i would be interested uh, to pursue knitting and I'm sure you have all seen and understood the differences between the practice and real test even though um this test it is special but it still it still gave me an estimate score but mind you this score is much more um uh, relative <coughs> to the real st- uh, real test compared to the basic practice test that i have been given since a very long time before i end the video i want to thank everyone once again deep from my heart um i also appreciate everyone for all the support the emails i also appreciate um my husband for what he did i i don't have words to thank you enough but uh, you know how grateful i am Well this is the end of this video I hope you all liked this video I hope it was informative for you all uh, that's all for today thank you so much uh, to watch more videos like this give a like share it with your friends comment and let us know your thoughts and queries don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever i upload something new